In today's Sims 4 build challenge, we are going to attempt to build an invisible house. Recently, Deligracy did this on her channel. I actually saw this the other day on Netflix. There's this real life invisible house made of mirrors on the exterior. You can't tell anything is in there on the inside. It's really amazing. And I'm, I saw this and I was like, I really want to build this in The Sims. A couple of you guys also commented on one of my recent videos to try this. So here we go. I figured the best place to start to build this would be in Mount Kamarebi. I'm all the way up at the top on like one of the mountains lots. With this lighting, it's not so bad, but if I switch it to like this, I can barely even see my grid lines, never mind a freaking house in this snow. So let's go ahead and start to build our shell. The real life house is kind of just like a rectangle hidden like that. I'm going to avoid that kind of like basic shell and we are going to do more of like a modern, smaller home. I actually really wanted to do a chalet and I was going to use like the glass roofing and everything, but I didn't know how I was going to get the like triangle pieces of the roof to have the mirrors because we're gonna have to be doing a lot of like raising things up putting things down I could see that ending up being a little bit annoying so this is what my shell is looking like it's pretty small we're gonna go for like a tiny little modern home and I'm thinking for the roofing we can go in with platforms and kind of do different heights in that way I'm not sure how I'm gonna cover up the roofing I'm pretty sure later we can go in and use like the island living glass panels on the top or we could even rely on the snow to do the job because on this lot like up here in Mount Kamarebi there's always gonna be that snow and depending on how we do the lighting later, I don't know. I think we could maybe pull it off without the glass, but we'll see how it pans out. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do for my roofing for now. Nice and simple. To make this house invisible, I'm going to go in with mirrors. We're going to use both of the base game ones, this three panel one here, and this single panel one we're going to be using. Because you can see it with the three panel, it has those like lines in between. We don't want that. We want it to be nice, clean, completely covered by the mirror. <laughs> I do have plans to cover up like the top and bottom bottom parts because as you can see there's like that little strip up there and below we're gonna cover all of that completely but first I'm gonna go around and make sure everything is covered up by these mirrors basically I'll see you in like two years <laughs> I think it's gonna be kind of interesting to see how the different like angles are gonna do with this because generally like the easy way to do it would have been just to do like the rectangle but I want to see how it's gonna look with these angles and elements that we're kind of adding in here the corners are kind of tricky too I need to make sure they line up perfectly I I'm gonna use a regular white wallpaper all over just to get rid of those like drywall lines. Oh, you can see it's starting to look really cool. Oh, with that lighting in the back. Oh my God, I'm excited. Obviously the shadows are here, but when we get that other lighting back on, I think they're gonna be gone. I think it's gonna be great. Okay, now that I finished off the entire house, I'm gonna go in and start to raise these up a little bit. So we're gonna raise it all the way up to the top of the platform and cover it. So that top part is gonna be completely invisible. So I'm gonna do that for the rest. And then later we're gonna cover up this bottom part. So for this top part, I'm actually going to be using this mirror from Spa Day. It does have those little white things on the edges, but if I cover them up properly, we're not going to see them. So for now, this is what we're dealing with. I actually did end up moving my lot over to the one next to it. It's way bigger than my house needs as a lot, but this is what I ended up with. So you can see the angles are missing with it a little bit. Like the Sims doesn't register that. Like I kind of broke it essentially. So what I'm planning on doing in between parts like that. Maxis, I can't with you. Stop. I'm just gonna go in with like a tree to put into the middle there just to like distract that spot. This was the lighting that I wanted to try it with. Here it is from the front. This looks so cool so far. Okay, so I still have to cover up that bottom part. You can see down here, it's still exposed. So I was thinking I could either cover that with snow from debug or we build a basement directly below the entire shell. And then if I've done that, I can go down and raise them up like literally from here and just raise them up like this and then it's gonna cover that bottom part. So like now there's a mirror on the entire thing. I still need to figure out where my door is gonna be. I also had like a little part off to the side which I deleted. Where is my door gonna be? Probably gonna have to be around the back, right? Whoa, this made it so cool. Look at this wall. It's like completely gone. It's getting there. There's a couple things that I have to like fix up, like a couple little edges, but this already looks so much better. You can barely see this house. This is crazy. Okay, so I have placed these trees kind of strategically where there's like that difference in lighting. So if 
I turn it this way, like the house is gone. It's so cool. Okay, so I'm also gonna be going in with some debug snow. So snowy escape, I have show life edit objects and hidden objects on. And we wanna be careful to make sure it's not coming inside my house, but I want to do just a little bit of it to kind of further the illusion. And yeah, anything that I'm really not happy with, I'm gonna go in and cover up with the snow. This is the difference up here with the roofing, by the way. The island living things are on there. If you can see them, like barely, you can kind of just see like the outline. I don't know what I prefer. I think it looks better maybe without them. So this is gonna be what it's gonna look like for the outside, I think. I've been trying to get these over as much as I can, but I think that's as good as we're gonna get it. I think it looks really cool. The illusion is definitely there. The only problem with these is if we zoom out, you don't get the same mirror effect in The Sims 4, and also this is gonna have to be a wintertime house. Otherwise, you're gonna see it. <gasps> look at it at nighttime, whoa! I'm gonna try and put that tree that I put behind there in the back so that this looks like the top. Oh my god, full optical illusion here. I need to get the angle perfect. It needs to be over like slightly. That's so cool. So this tree cuts off because of the mirror right here and then that tree behind is a separate tree. So technically that one in the back is acting as the reflection for this one in the front. <laughs> Okay, now I feel like I have to do that in the back for all of them. Like I see a tree here, there's a tree there. Okay, hold on. This is how we're gonna do our landscaping. Totally different today. <laughs> okay, there, I've got three trees back there. There's one there, one there, and one there. Like, let me see if I can get them. Evergreen, graveyard tree, and then another like base game birch tree. And I've just blended them in to the back so that that is not visible. This is so cool. So I think I'm gonna put my door in the back. We're gonna have to sacrifice um, a couple mirrors in the back there because I want this to be the front, especially at that angle lining up the trees. This is the front part. Then in the back, that's where we're gonna put the door. Maybe some windows too. I've got spot A on there. I think I'm gonna use that. Oh wait, I can put these strip lights like under the mirrors. That's how we're gonna have to get our lighting. Does that completely ruin the illusion? No, I don't think so. So yeah, this part right here will be the door. Do I want windows or the, is that just gonna wreck the whole thing? I think I'm gonna skip the windows because if I have this here, I think that looks kind of cool like that. Okay, yeah, I love it. All right, so this is the front. I think that's gonna be it for our exterior. I didn't expect to like this better at nighttime. I mean, it still does look pretty cool in the daytime. Definitely prefer it on the other way, but nighttime, it's so cool. Okay, anyway, let's go inside. So for the interior, I'm thinking we go like a dreamy neutral kind of. It's gonna be weird because my mirrors are gonna be in there like that. So you're gonna see them. Might have a little bit of snow that we're gonna have to fix, but I'm surprised that in terms of the mirrors, coming into the actual shell. We don't have much of it. I thought like this was gonna be happening all over the build, but it's actually not. Just the one, I'm impressed. All right, let's get some lighting in here. I definitely want this to be fancy. I do get like more of like a luxury kind of vibe, like whoever's gonna buy this. I'm pretty sure the one in real life, I'm gonna figure out how much it costs per night and I'll put it on the screen for you because I looked it up when I was watching the episode and I was like, damn. So maybe we do marble in here with like even white walls. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. It's gonna be real bright, I apologize. I do want the ice sculpture. I don't know why that's the first item that I'm thinking that we need. Oh, there's this one, but that's not the one. I want the big like horse or llama. I bet you it's a llama, it's the Sims. Ooh, maybe a waterfall in here. You know what? I think I'm gonna do like a, a shade of gray because this is a little bit too bright. Let's do that. I'm basically right now just collecting things that I wanna put in here. <laughs> like as I'm going through this, looking for that one sculpture, I'm trying to find things that I think I will be using. Where is this stupid thing? Oh, there it is. Okay, flying llama. <laughs> I'm actually gonna use a wave stone in here, I think. I'm using the one right now from Eco Lifestyle. Let's put this guy in that little bump out there. And then maybe we get some mirrors inside as well. I'm assuming like if the entire house is made out of them, we're gonna want some inside too, but just maybe not as excessive. <laughs> Automatically, I'm like, dang, luxury vibes. I think we have to put a chandelier here from Spot A. We'll shrink it and put it like here, I think. All right, so when we walk in, this is what we're gonna see. Nice chandelier area. Maybe I'll do a rug here because it's snowy out there. Yeah, I want this entire thing to be like luxury dreams. <laughs> okay, I think I should do the living room here and then kitchen over there, bedroom and bathroom. Part of me wants to do open concept for the entire thing or even like in the actual house. It's very, very open concept. It actually divides rooms by like dividers like this. So I wonder if I did that. And then we do cut like a bathroom right here. So that wall is not gonna be closed off. I think we're just gonna divide it through for the bedroom back here. And then this is gonna be the bathroom. <laughs> we'll do this for 
some detail over there. Honestly, I could even use something else, maybe like a divider. I haven't really decided yet, but let's do the living room first. So obviously a big TV. We're gonna have a fireplace in here, nice and cozy. This house seems really big. Maybe for the kitchen, the kitchen will have to be here. We want like all white. I think I'm gonna do vintage glamour right there. And for my couch, I literally want like all white everything. White, gray, and the only blue thing I'm gonna be using is maybe that. But normally I avoid these swatches because I personally don't really like them. I feel like they look like unfinished to me. I don't know, like this is what they use for like the base of the furniture. I mean, I know nothing about custom content or anything like that, but I feel like that's what it looks like. But for this particular build with like these different neutral white shades, I think it's gonna look cool. I don't know. This house is just gonna be strictly like inspired by winter basically. We can use those like flowers that are a little bit dead. Oh, this one too. I never use this flower. With like that, maybe we don't even need this flower. This can maybe go like over here. I am on a minimal streak lately. This is so not me. I don't know why, but okay. This is going to be our living room. Nice and fancy. And then yeah, over here, I guess we're gonna have to do our dining room and kitchen. So maybe I can do a kitchen along this wall. Like I don't want it to be too overwhelming. So I think I might just keep it to the essentials. See, this is more of what I mean. I feel like it doesn't look like finished. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, kitchen here, very basic. I don't even think I'm gonna clutter it. And then over here, we're gonna do our dining table, which I can't see more than like a couple living here. This house is still pretty small. So we'll do a table here, kind of on the smaller side, and then we'll go in and grab some chairs. This is a little more squishy than I would have wanted, but I do like it. I think it's cute. Maybe I'll add like a candle in here. Ooh, like that looks so pretty. Yeah, winter vibes. Okay, so we've got our kitchen, dining room, everything like that. I'm gonna do the bathroom. Ooh, I really wanna use this expensive bathtub. I'm gonna do it, so $12,000 there. We'll get the spotty mirror that we were using outside, and let's grab a sink. I just had to rearrange a little bit here, so we've got our toilet right there, our bathtub, and our sink. We'll get some nice, expensive looking details. This bathroom isn't very big, so I don't know what. It feels like I'm doing like a solid color challenge or something. Does that look cool? Ooh, with like this, that is snowy escape world. With the mountains, okay, perfect. So that's what we're gonna do. I think I'm gonna get rid of that. I didn't hate it, I don't really know. Maybe we'll replace it with like the spa day lighting we were using outside, like this. In the bathroom, I like that. Okay, so our bathroom is done. And now finally for our bedroom, let's go get a bed. I think I might, ooh, I wish Vintage Glamour had better swatches for their bed. What about this one from Discovery University? That's cute, I like the headboard. I actually really, really like this bed. It's just the white swatch, oh, it's gonna kill me, it's fine. Okay, let's get a nice dresser for that corner in the back. I'm thinking we might just end up going with this base game one. Ooh, okay, with the gold there, that's not that bad. At least we have got something extra. Oh, this could look cool. I was trying to find something to put behind the headboard. I like that from Dine Out. Very different kind of decor we're going for today. I kind of like it. Even yesterday, I did more of like a minimal style build. I will never lose my love for clutter, don't worry. But I do like to switch it up sometimes. Oh, I love this. I think I'm gonna add that snowy escape chair there with the blanket. We're also gonna get a snowy escape fluffy rug or maybe even the city living one. And size that up. I think this will be the final design we're gonna go for for our invisible home. I love this. I think it looks so cool. I know it's weird with like the white and the gray and obviously the house outside is completely invisible. <laughs> but I do think it was a fun build. This is it from the front, I guess. But this was how it turned out from the actual invisible illusion side. Let me know what you guys think. I love this. I will put this on the gallery under Sydney Macarena. But if you download it, remember, you gotta put it in the winter. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me know any build challenges you want to see me do in the comment section down below. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.